Hello creative people, I'm Enzo and today we are going to see how to just use images with React and the Create React app setup. This is a pretty common section because indeed it's important and you will see that there are a lot of answers to that question. So right there I just have a pretty simple Create React app. I won't put the source code in the description because there are not a lot of source code, it's, it's just some tricks and some little line of code that I will show you right there. So I will just open Unsplash and yeah, you you will just take one image from there. Okay, so this is just a pretty simple Create React app application. I won't put the code in description because there won't be so much code in this video. Uh, I will just explain it. So right there I can just put some lorem and images React for example up and yeah, it will just work, okay? So where can I find image? I will go to Unsplash, 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 and I will just take one image, image for example, I don't know this little rose, yes, very romantic I guess. So I will just start with the first way of using image. I will copy the address of the image, okay? So um, I will just put it right there. And now I will just create an image tag and inside of the source attribute, I will just paste my path and it will work. It's a pretty easy way to use an image, but it's not perfect because it's not on your server and it's not on your folder too. So yeah, this is a way of doing it, but certainly, certainly not the best way. So how can you do it better? How can we do it better? Well, we can just download it. So for example, I, I will download it in Medium right there. And we are going to put it in our folder, in our source folder. This is pretty important. Okay, so I've just put the redroses.jpg right there. And now that this is in the source folder, I can import it in my, for example, app components. So import red rows from dot slash red rows dot jpeg okay and now i can just reference it right there and tada it will work okay so it will just take the full width of the image but it work it's working it's working really great so there are some advantages to use it that way in the source folder because Webpack will analyze it and it will minify every file and image and it will add some hash to the image. See, you see there is a hash right there. Okay. And yeah, this is good for just performance and just optimization, but you can also use it somewhere else in the public folder. But first, can we use it in our CSS uh, like that? The response is yes. So just look, I will import app.css and then I will just, for example, I will delete everything and our H1 will take, for example, background URL and dot slash redrose.jpg, uh, redrose.jpg right there. Okay. And, um, it's working, it's working. So see, it's not very beautiful, but you will understand it. You see that our H1 is right there and in the background of the H1, there is that image, that red rose image. So if you put something like height, I don't know, 900 pixel, it probably will work a little bit, okay? So you can use it uh, right there in our CSS when you put some uh, image in the source folder, okay? So why? and when do we need to put it in the public folder? So as you can see, uh, there, also, there are already some image right there. So I will just comment it, comment it, and I will move to index.css.html, HTML, right there, right there. So this is our index HTML, and right there, they are using some icon, five, uh, five icon, five icon, okay? So the little React icon, and then, and, 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 um, also uh, right there, you can see the um, import of the logo, uh, of the logo right there. So this is for Apple Touch. So I guess this is for the mobile version, okay? But you can use some image right there. Look, I will just use an image and reference it with a logo PNG and look, this is working, this is working, okay? I will just remove the um, height of the H1. 
this is working. So you can use actually in the index HTML from the public folder, but you need to put behind it that strange thing, public URL with some percentage sign, okay? So that means when it will be on your uh, server, web server, it will change that uh, text with the URL of your real website. For example, uh, www.mywebsite.com, okay? Understood? Okay, so this is why we put public URL right there. But usually you don't need to uh, just use image in the, in the index HTML, okay? Usually you don't need to do that. Maybe you need to just uh, change some fa favicon right there, so it can be useful, but not in the index HTML. So why on hers you want to put, for example, the red rose image there? Well, it's in the case that you want to reference the path right there to do a dynamic reference. For example, you have a lot of roses right there and you have red roses, uh, red rose 10 right, uh, right there, okay? And now in your app.js, so in the source folder, you will, for example, so you can remove it, you will reference just slash red rose 10.jpg and see, it will work, it work. Um, under the hood, it will just um, understand that you are referencing image in the public folder, okay? But it's the same thing at the public URL, URL right there. You need to put something in front of it. You need to put some strength thing too. It's process that end, like environment, that public URL plus your URL. Sorry, this is hard for me. URL. So this is exactly the same uh, thing as I explained before. So it will just replace it with your uh, website address. So www, etc. Okay. So if you want to reference something from the public folder, you can just do slash. It will understand that you are referencing an image from the public folder. And then uh, in front of it, you just add that thing. Okay. Yes. So you can see actually why I've put something in the public folder. It's not changing anything. But if you are, for example, some state, or for example, just a const const number or index, index equal 10 right there, you can do something really sexy like this. Dollar, open the curly braces index, and you just use the uh, backticks, backticks right there. Okay, and see? This is working and this is dynamic. This is a dynamic pass because if your state will change, so this is not a state, but just imagine if your state change with a click, with a scroll, with everything you want, well, you can do something to your image. You can change the image on click. You can change the image whenever you will receive something or whatever. So this is really useful when you want to uh, just uh, reference a dynamic pass. So you will just put it in the public folder. But, but, uh, this is only uh, true when you are in full front end, okay, full front end. So you want all your image on the public folder. And usually you are just going to create some image like that folder. And uh, right there, slash images slash, okay. So it will work uh, the same, the same, yes. Okay, so it's if you are in full front environment, yes, this is the way of doing things, okay? So for a slider, for example, or thing like that, but usually you will connect your application to some API or to some backend that will serve you some image or some URL, okay? So um, it depends, it depends on what, uh, what you're doing, but in full front end with React, it works like that. Okay, great. I hope you understood me. Now we are going to see how to use some SVG because it's important too. So flat icons, this is a pretty nice SVG banks, bank, bank. Uh, so we are going to write or piano, for example, I don't know. Yes, pretty nice. Okay, so we just download it. Yes, and I'm going to put it right there on the source folder. So there is the piano.svg, great. So you have two ways to use SVG. One has a source and one has a component. So import piano from piano.svg. And you can just put it right there. And you don't need to add pros process environment or anything because you are on the source folder and Webpack will see that 
you are going to use that image. So you don't need to, um, to add something like when you add the image in the public folder and you see that it's working and it's some SVG. So it will just keep the quality of the icon, even if you zoom. So yeah, this is perfect. And you can also use it as a component, which is pretty exciting. I will say react components. So import react component has piano from dot slash piano dot svg. So I'm just going to, um, or like piano component if you want, because we already declare a uh, piano. And right there, look, I can just put something like that. And yeah, I'm just referencing my SVG as a component. So if you want, you can do something like this. You can pass some props or stuff like that. Or you can, yeah, you can do something like uh, when you are dealing with some components too. Okay. So yeah, this is working and this is all. We saw on how to use some image in the source folder. So if you don't want to reference the path, you can just put it on the source folder. You can create an assets with all the image inside. And you, you can also put the image, for example, in uh, if you just use it on the BTN, BTN uh, folder, you can put it right there, you, you know, with the uh, with the components. OK, uh, so I'm just doing some control Z. So undo, undo, yes. And if you want to reference the path, you need to put it on the public folder. And when you use it, you need to add um, this. I write it, wrote it right there. Process.env.public URL in front of it. Okay. And yeah, this is this is it. This is it. I know this is a little bit hard maybe to uh, to handle uh, at the beginning, but I I've just show you all the different methods to use images with Create React app. I hope you liked it and you understood me. And well, see you next time. Ciao.